Well, hey everyone, it's Scott with NewPortraitBiz.com, and what I want to do today is honor a request. Uh, I posted this picture. This is one of our digital creations that's inside our club, and uh, we basically created this for our members and for ourselves because we love this stuff. But um, we added a painting effect to it by just adding a texture to it. And a lot of people aren't aware of this. Some people are, uh, but there's definitely different techniques to to mastering it and to make it look good. And uh, I'm going to go over that here today. This one here we actually named Back on the Dock because it's like back of a building, dock, tires. I know, pretty creative. But anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over how to add that textury painting type look. But also the other thing I want to point out is this here. See how I blurred out that background? But see what a lot of people will do is they'll blur out this part too, which you don't really want to do because if you were taking this shot with a camera, with a large f-stop, like f2, you know, wide open, you're going to get this type of look, okay? And if you ever notice whenever there's pictures that draw your eye into the subject, that's what you're seeing when you see a photographer use that style of lens. So right there, you can see that shallow depth of field. So I turn that off, that's what it would look like. Still looks good, but this definitely brings your eye over here, okay? Because I'm, I'm more off-center here, all right? So I'll show you that real quick too. But anyway, uh, so if I turn the texture off, we still have a nice picture, but it doesn't give it that true painting effect. Here it looks like there's brush strokes on the actual surface. All right, so let's do that first. The very first thing you got to understand is using layers or the layer styles. Okay, so this is just a texture, and you can get a whole bunch of textures online. Just search, you know, free textures. Make sure that they're commercially free to use. Uh, but basically, you're just going to get a texture, and then you're going to bring it in. You're going to open it up. You're going to bring it in here. Make sure it's on uh, on the top of your layer palette. That's very important. And right here, you want to start adjusting your uh, your different settings on your style so this is normal that's what it would look like that's the texture in its raw form okay now sometimes you'll get a texture that'll be in color and you might want to convert it to black and white like I did here it'll give you more texture and I'll explain that in a minute but anyway so what you want to do is play around with these settings if you go to multiply you can see it's real dark you can kinda of see it but it doesn't really let it all come through I usually end up going to either overlay or soft light Overlay is there. You can still you can see a little bit more darkness on his face, which we could always erase. Or we go to soft light, and that kind of lightens it and gives it a little bit less of a dramatic look. And that's basically it. That's all that you do. But the thing is, not all textures are created equally. All right, because you're going to get a texture that might not. Let me go back here. It might not have these tones in it, and it all comes down to whites and blacks. It's really what it comes down to. Um, in the picture, those tonalities, and that's what really gives you that look. So let me go back to soft light. So now let me just show you another example. All right, now here's another background, okay, another uh, one that I found online for free. And actually, let me just give you that. If you go over here to insightdesigns.co.uk, you can grab some free textures here, and you can see there's a whole bunch of them here. Now some of these are going to work good and some of them aren't. You got to play, you got to experiment with them. And uh, all I did was just uh, clicked on one of these and then I just uh, downloaded it to my computer. And uh, right here it definitely says, uh, let's see the commercial license here. I just want to show you that because it's important. Uh, free for commercial and non-commercial use. Okay, but please read the full terms of services which can be found here. And basically just states that you can't sell these. Uh, you can't just take these, make a collection of textures and sell them. That's what it's telling you. But you're not. You're going to bring it into your works and you're going to flatten it and you're going to use it in your own works. But I just wanted to show you where I got that particular texture. Okay, so let me get that out of my way and then we're back. All right, so let me grab that texture now. Let me slide this out of the way and get back to it. There we go. And uh, then what we're going to do is we're just going to, this is how I usually do it. It's pretty simple. Just make sure you got this one selected and then I just drag into here. All right. And then what I'm going to do is size that. Now you can hold the shift key down if you want to scale it so it keeps the same constraints so it doesn't go out of skew. In this case, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to let go of the shift key and let it go where it wants to go. And then click apply. All right. So now let me turn off this other one though. Okay. So now we have basically the raw image here that we're going to be going over. Now, if I was to just do the same thing here and just go down to soft light, now I've got some yellows in there. I've got some blues. That kind of looks nice too. 
All right, but now if we zoom in, let's zoom in on his face, you can see it's going over his face. Maybe you don't want it as dramatic on his face. So then just go into your eraser tool and then just erase it. Now here, let's see, if you're on 100%, it might be more noticeable uh, if you do it at a full 100% because it's going to erase the entire uh, texture. Or you can bring this down to maybe 50% and then go over it and lightly give it to it. So you got to play around with that stuff. There's no set 100% way of doing it. Um, but now let me just go back to this. Okay, this gave it some color. This gave it some different tones. Maybe you don't want that. All right. So then what you would do is just go into your hue and saturation and then just take the saturation all the way down and click apply. And then look. Now you don't see all those color tones and it keeps the original tone of the picture. All right. Now if you wanted to make that even more pronounced, well you can go up here and play around with hard light. See, now it gives it almost like a whitish look. And again, it's all going to be different. You know, nothing is going to be the same with with every texture you're going to get a different look. So there's no one set thing that I could really say that's going to be, you know, the same every single time. All right. So let me go back though to soft light cuz that's what I like. Um Okay, so the other thing you could do is you could duplicate that layer. Make it again, and then you can see now we've made it even more pronounced. We just doubled it. Okay, that's all we did. And then if you think you want to maybe tone that down a little bit, tone it down so it's not as dramatic, you can do that too. All right, so that's really all there is to it. Let me turn that off. All right, this was my original image that I did. It's a different texture altogether. And then with this texture, or maybe you want to combine textures, do a couple different textures. All right, so that's really all there is to it. Now let me just point this out quick because so I know I'm going to get questions about this and I probably could do a whole other video on it but real quickly all I did here okay and I'll do it real quick again just click on your layer okay down here and then just go to duplicate layer and then what I do is I use the filter and then I use the lens blur go to blur and then lens blur and again I'm using uh, CS5 Photoshop CS5 and then I have it set, let me bring this over here so you can see it. I got my radius set to 26. It's on octagon 8. And uh, blade curvature is 49, rotation 275, brightness 68, 255 on the threshold. Amount of noise is 1. And Gaussian uh, is the distribution. And monochromatic, that basically means it's, it's not a colored, it's kind of like a, a black and white type of blur. It's very confusing actually. But anyway, I usually don't touch this. Once I get this to where I like it, which that looks really good to me, it looks natural, then I'll just keep that setting. But you can play around with them. Then just hit apply. And then what you're going to do, see how this is all blurred now? So here's what I usually do. Most people just come in here and erase this at 100% strength. All right, they would just go in here and do that. What I do usually is I go behind the subject with 100%, but I make sure that my hardness is, is set to zero. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll bring that in here, okay? So I'll go like that. And then what I'll do is I'll then take my opacity down to about 50%. And then I'll lightly just touch and graduate it. So that way there, say, I'm just touching that. And then that way there, it just graduates it off into the distance, okay? Even up here, maybe just a little bit. All right, so that's going to wrap up this lesson. I hope you've gotten a lot out of it. Now, if you're already a club member, uh, you can log in and you can get access to this at 50% off in the club store. It's already there for you. You're going to also get the texture that's uh, included that I shared with you in this as well. Now, if you're not a club member, you can go over to digitalportraitbackgrounds.com and uh, it'll take you right to the club page where you can sign up. You can also see all the details as far as what we do every single month and what's available, what you'll have access to. Uh, but basically, you'll have access to things just like this, uh, lessons like this. You'll also have card templates, collage templates, and you'll also have digital creations being produced every single month that are unique to you and your customers and be able to allow you to use these and not have to go out and spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on backgrounds. So that's really what our club's about. But it's also about continuing your learning and I always share things just like this that I'm working on so this way here you can have the edge over everyone else. All right, so that's it. That's going to wrap up this video and this lesson. Again, it's digitalportraitbackgrounds.com. If you're not a member, if you are a member, you know how to get access to the site. Just go on over, log into the members area, and uh, you can check this out and get your 50% off discount. All right, so that's it. This is Scott again with newportraitbiz.com. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.